with regard to the sequestration more broadly, we're examining the implications of that uh, uh, for the state of Indiana. Uh, and, and let me be clear, I, I'm calling on our leaders uh, in the Congress uh, and on this administration in Washington to come together to offer an alternative to sequestration. Uh, look, I, I was a member of Congress. The sequestration was put there in order that uh, members of Congress in both parties and and uh, the president and his administration would come together uh, to, to, to find savings and to find responsible budget cuts. It, it was meant to force an outcome, uh, it, and it is only should be viewed as a last resort. And so we're, we're anxious to see members of Congress work together with this administration to come w up with more uh, responsible and prudent long-term savings and budget reductions and reforms. And that's the outcome the sequestration is supposed to derive. It is essential for our leaders in Washington, D.C., particularly in this administration, to step up uh, with the kind of budget cuts and reforms that will set our national government uh, on a pathway toward fiscal solvency and fiscal responsibility. Um, now, I, will, I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, members of the Congress, the House of Representatives, have passed several alternatives to sequestration. Uh, but there's not been action in the Senate, and there's been no proposals uh, that I'm aware of that have been offered by the White House. It's time for the administration, for leaders in the Senate to come together with leaders in the House uh, and work out an alternative to sequestration so that we can avoid uh, the, the across-the-board cuts uh, that will be imposed on our defense establishment and, and other programs as a result.